Once you step up from budget, you're not paying for more FPS, you're paying for fewer compromises, better networking, better day-to-day -day usability, and a board that still feels good after you've added drives and peripherals. This is where two boards separate themselves based on what you actually value. If your priority is max features per dollar, the board that makes the most sense is Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2. When you look at the actual connectivity on this model, you're getting modern wireless and wired networking in one place, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, and 2.5 gigabit LAN. That combination matters because it solves the annoying stuff that shows up after the build is done. Stable wireless, fast wired networking if you switch later, and no need to buy extra cards just to modernize the setup. The trade-off is simple. You want this board because it's balanced, not because it's ROG. If it's priced like a sensible step up, it's a great pick. If it's priced like a premium flex, it stops being smart for a 5600X. On the other side is the I wanna stop thinking about it board, MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi. This one stays a common overall recommendation because it's the kind of platform that feels hard to regret. Solid ATX layout, strong feature balance, and it's widely stocked by major retailers. If you're the type of builder who upgrades parts over time, this is the kind of board you keep while swapping GPU, storage, and even the CPU later on the same socket. So the overall best choice for the average 5600X user, the one that hits the best balance without wasting money, is the Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi 2. You're getting modern networking and a well-rounded platform, and that's what prevents wasting the 5600X in the long run. And if you want the fastest buy it once and don't worry ATX alternative, the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk Max Wi-Fi is the upgrade that makes sense, especially if you plan to keep AM4 running for years through a later CPU drop-in. Now, if you're building small form factor, the rules change. Mini ITX boards cost more, so you prioritize something commonly available and widely used. Gigabyte B550i Aorus Pro AX is one of the more common B550 Mini ITX options you'll actually find in retail stock. And if the entire goal is lowest cost ITX, Gigabyte A520i AC is the cheaper entry point. But you treat it as the ticket into an ITX case, not the best features choice.